Hello, my name is Jeffrey Davis, and my project is on the evolution of acting and its effect on modern filmmaking. I hope you enjoy it. The Greek tragic actor Thespis of Acaria is widely regarded as the founder of the acting profession. To this day, actors are still often referred to as thespians. Early tragedies were often read in declamatory style rather than acted on stage. Acting was stylized in the ancient Greek theater. The large outdoor theaters made the subtlety of speech and gesture impossible. All the actors were men and often wore large padded costumes and distressing masks. In the Roman period, actors were slaves and their performances would often suffer because of that. The slaves were most popular for their satirical comedies. During the Christian period in Rome, acting was socially shunned. Mimes, jugglers, and acrobats continued the art of acting at traveling fairs. In the Middle Ages, the art of acting was expressed through religious dramas, but was not considered a serious profession. In 16th century Italy, actors used general script outlines to improvise entertaining and comical situations. This was the beginning of modern professional acting. During Restoration in England, actors such as Thomas Betterton and Edward Kynaston were famous for their natural delivery. Other actors during this time, such as Barton Booth and James Quinn, used a heroic style acting technique that became very popular in the early 18th century. In the mid-18th century, Charles Macklin and his student David Garrick began implementing a more naturalistic style. The style also became popular in France and Germany about the same time. It was around this time that acting became more of a serious profession than a hobby or feeble pursuit. In the 19th century, actors practiced a bombastic style in plays written by authors such as William Shakespeare. By the early 20th century, the old declamatory style had nearly died out. An acting system known as the Stanislavski system began to shape modern acting in 1911. The method involved the actor focusing on portraying his character's emotion on stage. The system was developed by Konstantin Stanislavski, a Russian actor and director. In the 1930s and 40s, method acting began to gain popularity. Lee Strasberg learned the Stanislavski system at the American Laboratory Theater and began to apply emotional memory to the acting technique, developing a similar style known as method acting that is still used by many actors and actresses today. Acting has changed significantly since the days of Thespis. The large theaters could seat up to 15,000 people making subtle gasps, gestures, and remarks difficult for much of the audience to hear. Theater architecture and illiterate populace contributed to the success of Shakespearean type theater in the 17th century. By the early 20th century, acting had moved from the stage to the big screen by way of silent films. Silent films were very popular and actors such as Charlie Chaplin are known for their inaudible story portrayal. In 1927, films with synchronized sound became the new stage of acting. Actors were able to portray characters like never before. Deep breaths and subtle gestures were able to be projected so the audience could hear and interpret them as part of the story. 